So, you're an indie developer and either want to create a YouTube channel or already have a YouTube channel and your goals are to share your passion for game development and of course, also advertise the game you are making. That's great, but there are some things you need to know and understand if you truly wish to succeed in the YouTube game dev space. Hi, I'm Floki. And I have a game dev channel with 10,000 subscribers and 700,000 views. And I'll share three very important tips to properly grow your own game dev channel. Time is precious, so let's jump straight to the first tip. Don't make videos for game developers. I see a lot of game devs start their YouTube channel and explain their most complex system in details and use all these fancy game dev words like Raycast, Quartinians, Qu Quartanians, Qu whatever this is, state machines, and so on. And as a game dev myself, I do enjoy these videos. The problem, however, is that by doing this, you are limiting your reach to only other game developers and not the gamers that actually would play your game. Now, you'd probably argue that game devs play games too, so they might become future customers. And this is true, but how many of these game devs actually like the game you're making? Because as a game dev myself, I often find myself to click on a devlog not because the game interests me, but because I'm interested in their creative process and relatability. In actuality, I would probably never play the game they're making, simply because I don't particularly like that genre. However, there still is a way how you can share your passion for game development and still get non-game dev viewers, and that's by explaining the things in a way that non-game developers can understand. So. You made a system for your game that you're proud of and obviously you want to make a devlog about it. But how can you ever make it interesting to non-game developers? Well, I think the easiest way to explain this is by showing a small part of my own video where I do exactly that. My next step was designing a harvesting and tool system. I made it pretty simple. I made a resource component that I can slap on any object I want and this resource component does a few different things. The first being that when a player hits the object, it then checks if the player is using the right tool. If it is the right tool, it then checks what tier level that tool is and applies the right amount of damage to the object. If the damage taken reaches a defined threshold, it then spits out the correct resource. And finally, it punishes the tool that hit it by applying damage to that tool. As you saw, I used visuals and funny scenes to explain quite complex stuff in a very simplified, understandable and fun way. This obviously will need some practice and quite a bit of effort to find the right words and analogy, but it really pays off because these parts of my videos are the parts that have the best retention, meaning that almost everyone who watches my videos, gamers and game devs alike, love the funny explanations I give. Okay. So you're almost ready to make your first or next devlog. But there is one more thing that you need to understand. Even the best video will flop if your game looks like this. And that's my third point. The visuals come first. To be clear, I am very aware that this is fundamentally wrong from the game dev side of things. But it is necessary to retain your viewers. You have to look at your devlog like they are mini trailers for your game. And that's why it's crucial to make your game look good before making your first video of said game. I recommend to simply grab a decent looking asset pack and use that for prototyping. Or you could use Sloyd. Sloyd is a tool that makes making 3D assets for your games as easy as possible while still letting you customize each asset extensively so that it fits into your game. We even have an AI that can make assets based on text prompt. Check out Sloyd in the description or watch this video here to see how I used Sloyd to make this quite pretty looking game in less than 5 hours. 